Hello and welcome. You're watching One India News. And as everybody knows that on Friday, Chandrayaan-3 is about to be launched from Sri Harikota from the Satish Dhawan Space Center at around 2.35 p.m. The entire India will be watching the launch and it, like everybody will be on the edge of their seat. Uh, granted that last time Chandrayaan-2 saw failure, this time everybody is kind of uh, wanting and you know hoping that this mission sees success. So today we have a senior professor from the Indian Institute of Astrophysics in Bangalore, uh, Dr. Jayant Murthy. Hello, sir. Welcome to our show. Thank you. So uh, like, let's dive right into it. Uh, sir, what can you tell us, uh, like, say, if this mission succeeds, Chandrayaan 3 succeeds, then uh, it will, uh, India will come into a very elite list. It will uh, be one of the four countries uh, who have actually had successful mission on the moon, if I'm correct. If we, correct me if I'm wrong, obviously. So, oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, what do you think that, you know, if, if the mission succeeds, you know, how does it hold significance for the country at large? You know, I'm a bit of a skeptic on these things. I, I think that uh, ISRO is a wonderful organization and I'm very much looking forward to, to the launch tomorrow. And I'm looking forward to the results from Chandrayaan-3. Last time, of course, Chandrayaan-2 itself is, is by and large a success. What what failed is the lander. Okay. And so uh, they're, they're planning to, hopefully the lander will also work this time. But Chandrayaan-2 is doing some good signs. They're getting some excellent pictures of the moon. Mm -hmm. And uh, and they've, they've worked in collaboration with other agencies to, to do good science. So this is all going on. Chandrayaan-3... Uh, the, the big advance is, uh, is the lander, of course, and the rover. What I wonder is what the future is in this. And, and that's where your question really applies. What is the importance to the nation? The space program, I think the space program is very important mm -hmm. because it, uh, it, it keeps us, it, science and technology are, are at the heart of a successful nation. Uh, India spends about 0.7% of the GDP on basic science, including mm -hmm. things like, like Chandrayaan, right. whereas China is spending 2.5%. Mm -hmm. And so if you look at China's lunar program, mm -hmm. it, it, they're, they're going to la launch uh, Chang'e 6 uh, pretty, pretty soon. Right. And they're getting wonderful results from their rover that's already on the moon. Right. So this is where, where we have to... Uh, not it's not as a not as a as an unhealthy competition, but rather we have to showcase our own science, and that's what the importance of of this is. So I do think that we need a roadmap for for our space program. Right. What is the space program planning to achieve in the long term? Mm -hmm. I I don't think the money is very much. As I said, we're spending 0.7 percent of our GDP. Mm -hmm. So ten thousand crores for or whatever it is, you know, I don't know. A thousand crores, uh, probably. You compare it with the ten billion dollars that JWST cost, right. Right. and we're look we're getting such wonderful science from JWST now, right. and this is the league that we want to be in. Unless you actively encourage encourage this uh, forefront thinking, you know, you you can't progress as a, as a nation. So to think of it as a lot of money, I think it's a mistake. I think it's actually very little money. Okay. I mean, ten thousand crores. I mean, you know, ten thousand crores <laughs> is the entirety of Israel's budget. Right. You know, you have to correct me on the numbers. I'm way off. No, no, that's completely fine. But but it's nothing. It's nothing. It's 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 probably you know five hundred crores, six hundred crores. Right, right. And when you're comparing with a five trillion dollar economy, it's nothing. Right. So so this we need to do much more of this, not just on lunar missions, but we need to work on on. Uh, artificial uh, intelligence we need to work on black holes uh, mm -hmm. the, the wonderful results on gravitational waves that came out recently with with broad indian uh, mm -hmm. uh, involvement mm -hmm. we need to spend much more money on research not less mm -hmm. and this is where uh, isro can play a, a, a an important role in uh, galvanizing enthusiasm Right. And um, coming to Chandrayaan 3, though, since that is happening and uh, we are looking mm -hmm. forward to it. Uh, so can you just, in layman's term, can you just elaborate how exactly it is different from Chandrayaan 2? Or if there's any difference, can you just elaborate on that? I think the main difference is that Chandrayaan 2 had the orbiter. 
-hmm. and the orbiter is doing a lot of science. So mm -hmm. Chandrayaan-3, because the orbiter is still there, mm -hmm. they don't have to reproduce the science that the orbiter is doing, taking pictures of the moon, things like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think they're also planning to use the Chandrayaan-2 orbiter as a backup for right. uh, communications. Mm -hmm. So what this does is uh, they're, they're focusing more on the rover and the lander, and but the instruments are, I think, not that much different from they were from what they were on Chandrayaan two. Mm -hmm. uh, th I think they're going to do uh, some. They have a seismometer on board, which uh, they they're going to look at moon quakes. Right. So that's uh, fascinating work because if you look at the, uh, for a long time people thought that the moon had no, had no moon quakes that the moon was uh, very uh, calm, very silent. Mm -hmm. But now we know the moon has all sorts of little quakes, meteorites hitting, and so on. Good to analyze that. Right. And they're doing some compositional stuff. You you have a laser. The laser will vaporize some rocks. And then you look at the uh, that ejecta, the, the vapor, mm -hmm. and you see what's in it. So it'll do some good work on composition. Right. But of course, now, hopefully, it'll get to the moon and, and actually do the work. Right, correct. And uh, also, in terms of objective of the mission and the, like the core objective of the mission, is there any difference or is it just the same? And even if it's just the same, can you just elaborate what it is? Yeah, I think, uh, again, this is something that ISRO really needs to work a little more on mm -hmm. because uh, as a scientific community, we have not focused very much on planetary exploration, exploration including the moon. We focus more on, on uh, the universe mm -hmm. at, as, as, for instance, the gravitational work that's been coming out. And I think that uh, it's very good to have this technical program, engineering program, where you go to the moon, you do a lot of good science. I wish that there was a larger scientific community to t make use of this uh, of this information, and hopefully that will start to grow with the with the stuff that's coming out of uh, Chandrayaan three and Chandrayaan two and the next Chandrayaan, which in which with uh, I think with the Japanese collaboration. Right. So. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think it'll be exciting to see the results. Interestingly, they have they have that experiment that's going to look back at the Earth. Okay. And uh, this is interesting because uh, what we when we're looking for life on other planets, or when we're looking for to see what other planets are mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. we don't have that detailed view. Mm -hmm. All we can see is the whole thing. We can see the entirety of a planet. So what they're planning to do. And this, by the way, is what Carl Sagan did with the Galileo spacecraft when it passed the Earth uh, 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. they're, they're planning to look at the Earth, and they're planning to see what the Earth looks like right. from space. And then hopefully you can use that to try to understand other other worlds. You spoke about Japanese collaboration in upcoming Yes, mission. yes. Right. So yeah. uh, uh, in your knowledge, is Chandrayaan-3 a completely indigenously manufactured and thought of mission or is does it have any international collaboration to it? I understand that there's a NASA reflectometer on there right. uh, where where they put a, uh, the same kind of the stuff that was used on the Apollo missions. Mm -hmm. So they put it up there and you can shoot lasers off of it and you get good information on okay. the exact distance and stuff. So I think that's there. Right. And of course, anytime you do any space work, Mm -hmm. uh, you're using an international set of components. Mm -hmm. You have some, of course, you, much of it, of course, will be indigenous, mm -hmm. but you will also get things that you have to get from abroad right. and uh, what the composition is, what, what it is. Of course, everything is put together and tested mm -hmm. inside or I within ISRO. Right. But where the components are sourced from, who knows? Um, true. So before I let you go, sir, uh, just as a scientist uh, in India, what exactly, how exactly are you feeling right now? Well, you know, I'm watching it purely. I, I have no scientific interest in, in the moon okay. uh, at, at all or, or the planets. I don't really care. Right. I, I work on on, uh, on on the problems of the galaxy. Right. But uh, I've always been interested in space flight and I've watched many rocket flights I did my uh, my thesis was on a payload that was on the space shuttle, yeah. and so we got down. We got to go down to the Cape, and we watched uh, the shuttle. Uh, <laughs> I, I I got to watch the shuttle launch from only uh, what was it uh, three miles away, okay. closest you could be. Okay. And so the, you know, these space launches are always fat, amazing, mm -hmm. and so that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for just as a just just for the spectacle, right. and of course, uh, hope it it, uh, it it should work. Yeah. They put in a lot of effort, yes. 
space is always difficult and you never know, but but they put in a lot of effort mm-hmm. and uh, hopefully everything will work fine. Thank you so much for your time today, sir. And thank you everyone for watching One India. Stay tuned to get all the updates regarding the Chandrayaan 3 mission. And thank you for watching.